We are taking a break from literacy, and today we're gonna have a conversation about productivity. I wanna share with you a tool that I've been using for several months now, and I've been keeping it a bit of a secret. But now I'm officially gonna share something that can save you hours when it comes to your productivity inside of the classroom. So back in August of 2023, I had a company that reached out to me called TextBlaze. Now, they are a Google Chrome extension that allows you to create templates and be able to input those templates anywhere within Google Chrome using a short key. The great thing about TextBlaze is that it's not only subjected to just Google Workspace. There are some really cool tips and tricks that are out there about how you can input different templates from just a Google Doc into your Gmail. But the problem with that is that you have to be within the Google Workspace apps. Meaning if you go to something like Schoology, if you're on Outlook or any other tab that is not a part of your Google Workspace, it's not going to work. So what I love about TextBlaze is that it really has allowed me to be able to use templates and shortcuts, but be able to apply them across so many different platforms. I'm going to give you some ideas for how to utilize it. I'm going to show you how I have been using TextBlaze. And of course, thank you so much to TextBlaze for just bringing the awareness to this wonderful platform, because if you would never have reached out to me, I probably wouldn't have been using you. So um, I am going to leave some links in the description for you guys to go and check them out. Again, this is not a sponsored video. Um, they did just provide me with the product itself. And now let's go ahead and jump in to what they are and how they can help you as a teacher. Okay, so let's take a look a little bit about TextBlaze. So you can go to blaze.today to check out a little bit more of what TextBlaze is, I'm going to be very honest, I am not the TextBlaze expert. I have only been using it um, for my own personal use, even just at my business side, and then also as a teacher. So I don't know all the tricks and the wonderful um, tips that are out there. So I'm going to give you the very basic information of how you can use this. So basically what they have is a way for you to speed up your typing within Google Chrome. You're going to see here that they have kind of the three steps pieces. One, you're going to create a snippet, which is what they call their template. They're going to, they say it's a snippet within TextBlaze. So once you try, you create your snippet, then you can go anywhere and type in the uh, shortcut to be able to insert that that uh, snippet itself. Now, there's some really cool features and the pieces that I like the most is that there are forms in it. So you can add dates and times, additional information, drop down menus where you can select information. And I'm going to show you a little bit of what it can do for you, but give you kind of the basic of here's how to use it and get the most out of it as just a classroom teacher. So one of the things that I do want to point out is the plans and pricing. Um, so currently there is a basic plan that you can utilize and within the basic plan, you get 20 snippets. Now it's totally free. It's great for just trying them out to see if you're going to even use it. Um, but you can go to the pro version, which is the version that I have. And so this is $2.99 a month and it's billed yearly. You can do the math on that. And then you have up to a thousand template uh, snippets, and then you can do 25 characters for each of those snippets. You can add forms and you have access to being able to insert images. So lots and lots of really great features. That is the version that I am currently using. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into what my dashboard looks like. So this is my dashboard. Welcome to, um, my sample snippets that I have going on. So when I first started using it, I really just needed something to help me with my standards. I was deep in the work of doing the writing bridge, which is my writing program. I was writing daily, daily lessons for third through sixth grade, and I just needed to keep track of all of the different standards that are out there. So <laughs> Basically what I started using them for is creating snippets of standards. So you can see I have standards that are already placed in there. And then what I do is I will insert it into the template that I've created to do my lesson plans. And what this did was just saved me so much time from having to jump from one template to another and copy and paste it and change things up and retype things. It was just too much work to keep track of, but this made it so much easier. 
So let's say I am doing a fourth grade opinion. You can see here I've added all of the standards, the common core standards for fourth grade opinion. And then I gave it a shortcut by saying for TDA because it's basically a TDA. And so um, now I can go into any template. Let's say I just go into this one. So this is my template that I've utilized. And here I can just use that short key, which is forward slash and then for TDA. And you can hear that there's like this little click. It's probably the most satisfying part of this entire platform is that click when it inserts all of that information for you. And so then I can go through and I can delete the ones that I don't necessarily need. And it just make keeping track of my standards and what I was teaching inside of my lessons that much easier. And especially if you're working with multiple grades and you're wanting to keep track of all the things, this saved me so much time. So that's one of the ways that I've been using um, text plays. And then I started figuring out, okay, well, let me start using it within Outlook. So as a staff developer for an IU within the state of Pennsylvania, which is an educational agency, I um, work with Outlook as far as my email goes. So I don't use Gmail. Now, thankfully, I do use Google Chrome to pull up my Outlook and all of my emails. And I had to send teams lots and lots of reminders. And so those reminders could consist of, hey, I want you to bring you know, these materials. We're going to meet on this date. Here is this form that you need to fill out or whatever it might be. So I created a ton of different forms um, that we would kind of, I would just enter that information in um, and yeah, it, it made it so much easier. So I wasn't having to think of, okay, wait, did I put all the information in there? Let me go back and look up that previous email and see how I, re how I sent that information. Now I already have it saved as a snippet and I can very easily insert that into my email. So I'm going to show you how to create um, one that would be something that as a teacher, you're going to use a ton of. So I mentioned to you that one of the best features about this is that you can go anywhere within Google Chrome and use TextBlaze. So one of the things that we oftentimes do as literacy teachers is provide feedback in writing. So what I've done is within a Schoology account, I created um, a very basic um, discussion board that I wanted students to be able to respond to. And then I imitated a student response. It's a horrible student response. Do not read it. So from there, I'm going to go ahead and create a snippet on something that we will often tell our students in the comments, and that is to use evidence from the text. So um, we're going to name this snippet, brand new one up here. So grading comments. Maybe I'm going to just put these actually in quotations like that. And let's do no evidence. And then I'm going to type evid, E-V-I-D. Um, and so for this one, I'm just going to say, remember to add evidence from the text to support your thinking. You may use paraphrasing where you, oops, you place it into your own words or you may use quotations to directly quote and have that placed in quotation marks. Please add and resubmit. Okay, so this is often something that I would tell my students a lot. Hey, I need you to add evidence. You could do it these two different ways. Make sure to do that. And I want you to resubmit it to me. Because we were standards-based schools that I've worked at, um, we always allowed students to go back and revise and resubmit that for a better score. 
So now that it's saved, because it does automatically save, you're going to see that it's here off on the left hand side, which is where it keeps all of your snippets. I can now go into Schoology and use sync um, that forward slash EVID, it'll automatically insert that in. So let's go here. And then I'm going to hit reply as if I'm replying to that student. So forward slash EVID and it automatically places that in there and then I can hit post and then that student will be able to see my feedback. So now I wanna show you the final way that you can use this. And this is by adding a little bit more fancier stuff and that is to insert various forms. So I'm going to create a new one by going up to the left-hand corner and it's automatically gonna kind of put that page up. I'm gonna name this um, team meeting reminder. Now I have various types that I've done um, as far as team meeting reminders that I might have to do, or maybe it's even a presentation that I'm having to complete. So like if I'm doing a service delivery at a school, I might send them a, hey, remember I'm coming in for this um, session on this date at this time, I will need to make sure that I have this, 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 this in order to you know set up and be ready. So I will create templates for that as well. So this is just a team reminder and I'm going to say uh, team. Keep it very simple. Of course, you would want to customize it to make it fit for what you want it to be, right? But we're going to keep this simple for the most part. So I'm going to say, hey, team, exclamation mark. Um, I hope you are all well. Reminder that on and now I'm going to insert some type of a form. So on the left hand side, you're going to see that there are various forms. Now, if I wanted to do a date, I could add date here. Now, the basic command one, which you're going to see very first, is going to be for the day that you send that email. It doesn't allow you to change it. Um, once you go ahead and insert it into um, wherever it is that you want to enter or paste that information, you can then go back and backtrack. But the type of form that I want to think of is the one where it creates a little pop-up and then I can pre-select it before it enters in. So what I'm going to do is a date time chooser. And so here you can see, here's a preview of what that date looks like. I'm going to go with this one. So I'm going to delete that format because I like this version. Um, we don't need, actually, I'm going to do at, let's add an hour. Mm, hour. And then minutes. Okay, I think I should put a space there. So it'll show you the preview of what it looks like, which is really helpful. So I'm putting a date, I'm giving them the time, and I get to choose all of these pieces here. So I'm going to hit insert, and then I'm going to place period. Um, as we begin to prepare for this meeting, we uh, please remember to bring the following items. Okay, so now let's say that this is a meeting that you have all the time and you're like, there are certain things that you want them to bring. Um, I'm going to now go down and I'm gonna do a drop down menu. So the drop down menu allows you to select from multiple options. So let's say I'm gonna say lesson plan book. Um, core program, student assessments, um, current scores. Okay. I'm going to hit multiple because I want multiple options. I want to select from a lot of them and put them in and not just one. So then I'm going to place those items in there and I'm going to hit period. If you need anything, please feel free to reach out. Looking forward to seeing everyone. Warmly, Bridget. Okay, so now I have 
a general template. What's really cool is that you, there are so many other options that I am barely hitting the surface here. So you have, um, the ability to be able to add simple text. So let's say you wanted to add a default text that's in there. It, you could add whatever you need. You can even add a paragraph of information if you needed to add a paragraph. Um, there's a toggle section and so much more that you can go into. I tend to stick to the pretty basic items because that's really all I need it for. But if you are somebody that just needs to have a few more options, they're definitely available for you. Okay, let's go try this out. We're going to head into just my email. So we're going to go to my email and now I'm going to send my team a reminder. So forward slash. The interesting part about this is that a little pop-up is going to come up. And this pop-up is where you have access to be able to change things. So now I can go through and I can change. I can hit the calendar. I can say maybe it's on the 24th and let's say it's going to be at 11, 15 AM. So I've added that. Now I'm going to say here are the things that I want you to bring and it's going to change that and I can hit insert and now it's all there. So now everything is ready to go. I don't really have to worry about it. And it saves me so much time when it comes to sending out a very simple email. So as you can see, TextBlaze really allows for you to be able to quickly insert any form of a template all over so many different platforms, so long as you're using them within Google Chrome. I wish that I would have had this as a teacher from having emails that I would have to send home to families about absences or makeup work or poor scores or reminders about conferences. This would have saved me so much more time from having to go into my notes or go into my Google and then looking up that template and then copying that template and then pasting that template and then editing the template. TextBlaze really helps to remove a lot of that work and be able to insert it quickly and save you so much more time. I have truly been enjoying using this uh, and thank you so much to TextBlaze for reaching out and giving me access to the platform because I've loved every single bit of it. And there are moments where I'm just like, oh, what am I supposed to write? I have a TextBlaze template for that. So thank you so much to TextBlaze. If you guys have any questions about how to use this inside of your classrooms, grading and comments is going to be a huge one. And those emails, huge ones that are just gonna be those things that you do constantly and you don't really think about, TextBlaze is here to make it a little bit easier on you. So ask me any questions if you have any um, into the comments and I will be looking out for those. Again, thank you to TextBlaze for sending me this platform and I will catch you all next time. Thanks, bye.